What's good, y'all? It's that boy, Mo629. Coming to y'all another edition of Grab Old Path. This time, we're about to talk about Gold Standard 100% Weight by On Nutrition. Well, Optimum Nutrition. And I'm telling you whether this number one selling protein powder is worth a grab or a pass. Find out in this video right now. All right, y'all, bam, that boy Mo right here giving y'all an in-depth, unbiased, honest, non-sponsored review on Optimum Nutrition Whey Protein Gold Standard. They talk about they the gold standard. Is they really? I'm about to find out right now. So let's look at this real quick. Now, let's dig into it. Let's dig into it. All right, so this is a brand new tub right here. And as you can see, Right here, here's the protein. I don't want to spill it, but that's the protein right there. This is a French vanilla cream flavor. Cream. French vanilla cream flavor. So, right here, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, sh I can't find a scoop. So, this is brand new. So, let me look at well, the scoop probably at the bottom. It's probably at the bottom or whatever, but we're about to look at the uh, ingredient profile real quick, the supplemental fact, to see if this actually measure up. So let's look at the, they got nutrition fact on here, right here, bam, I'm gonna read this on the back. So I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna have a little on the side, on the side for the nutrition fact so you can read it. So, but I'm gonna go over everything for y'all. So, I got 29 servings per container. So if you take one scoop a day, 29 servings, you're looking at about 29 days worth, about a month worth of this uh, protein right here. I'm gonna look at this right here. So we got 110 calories per serving. That's pretty decent for a protein powder. I'm not even gonna lie. One gram of fat, that's pretty decent. Uh, saturated fat, 0.5 gram, half a gram or whatever, that's pretty decent. The, well, I think the thing that really kind of turns me off about it is the cholesterol content, which is 13% of a 2,000 calorie a day diet. So it's about 40 milligrams of cholesterol in one of these right here. That kind of turns me off a little bit. If you look on the side right there, it's about 13%. Sodium, 100 milligrams, not too bad. Total carbohydrates, two grams. Total sugars, two grams. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Protein, 24 grams of protein for one scoop for uh, one of these right here. Th 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 that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Me particularly, I like about between 25 to 30, but 24, you really can't hurt. Um, potassium, it got calcium and it got potassium in it. Really, to me, I think that's pretty decent and good because you need calcium for bone density, you know what I'm saying, keep your bone strength and all that. And potassium, you know, for replenishment, you know. So if you sweat, replenish your sweat and all that stuff. So about 4% of your daily value, nothing too big, nothing too amazing and all like that. So look, so we're about to go into the ingredients. What's the ingredients right here? So let's look at the ingredients. If you looked at my other videos, I always read the ingredients and stuff like that. I'm not big on a lot of ingredients in these proteins, in any supplement really, because once you get into a lot of ingredients, you got a lot of proprietary blend and you don't really know what you're getting or it's just too much just to take a scoop of something to get one goal, which is protein. So let's look at this real quick. So the, it got a protein blend, which is a blend of different proteins, obviously. We got whey protein isolate, whey protein concentrate, and hydrolyzed whey protein. To me, that's pretty decent right there. That's pretty good because at the end of the day, the one of the top proteins you're supposed to get in supplement form is whey protein, whether it's isolate or whatever. Whey protein, you get more bang for your buck with whey protein. So at the end of the day, this is mainly whey protein right here. Natural and artificial flavor, sunflower or soy lecithin. And got salt, acephane, potassium, and sucralose. Those are the artificial ingredients right there. The acephane, potassium, and the sucralose. Sucralose is a sweetener. Now, for mixability, for mixability, this, it, it mixes pretty well. I'm not, going, I'm not mixing it or anything in this video, but I have used this product before and the mixability is pretty good. You can mix it in a blender. You can mix it in a shaker cup. You can mix it with a little hand, little blender thingamajiggies or whatever that you can, you can blend it with. It mixes pretty well. So, final verdict on this right here. As you can see, 
from the, the profile, I mean, this cost me about $35, $35. So if you calculate that, it's a little bit over a dollar a day for a protein shake. It depends what you mix it with. You mix it with water, um, about a dollar something a day. So you're getting a good bang for your buck, especially in the time of inflation. I'm filming this in 2022. So if you're watching this in 2023 or 2025 or something like that, the time of inflation, Get your and, 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 and